Hi guys, welcome to my uh, small grid autosport drift review. Right now I'm in custom cup. And you can go to vehicle discipline. You have to go to tuner. And then you can either decide if you want to join the C1 drift or the C2 drift. The major difference is between these two is just that one of them is like the drifting street cars and the other one are the pro ones. So I'll go to C1. I'll put my AI drivers to medium. Want to go to event details and uh, maybe pick a nice track. I actually don't want to do a huge uh, map so I'll do the Autosport Raceway. One lap. And then that's it I suppose. You can choose between a legendary Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 10 uh, from Team Orange from Japan. I love these guys, I love their cars. And then uh, you can also choose the Chris Forsberg Racing 370Z from Formula Drift, which I uh, watch every single time it gets uh, put up on the internet through a live stream that you can watch for free. And, there, and then there's one of my favorite cars, which he doesn't drive anymore, Daijiro Yoshihara's 240SX. It has got to be the most iconic drifting car, in my opinion. I love this car so much. But, I want to drive the 370, because I haven't done that. So I'm going to choose this one. It's a real powerhouse. There's a lot of stuff uh, that changed from Grid 1 and Grid 2, of course. Um, uh, grid 1 was a very good drifting game. Grid 2, not so much. Uh, and then this one came out, and I was like, hey, I didn't know this was even coming out because it was a pretty much, it wasn't on my radar, actually. And um, I always uh, loved the fact that they put in these three cars. And the only complaint I have that there's not much tracks to drift on and not much cars to choose from because in total you have six cars like I said the C1 and the C2 and uh, the tracks are like I think four or five six five or six and what what does make up for everything is that the physics are really good and the smoke is pretty nice and the sounds are also very good and the overall feeling is just like really cool. I only bought this game for drifting, so that's all I'll be doing. And um, the tuning capability is pretty cool. Just put my gear ratio up a little bit because this one hauls like a beast. And maybe my differential a little bit more locked. I like to have a little bit more grip. So I think that's about it, what I can do. And uh, I paid 40 euros for this in Europe. I live in Holland, so I went to a web shop and uh, I paid 40 euros for it. I really hope Codemasters are gonna put some DLC in the, in this, into this game, like more drift cars and more uh, tracks. And uh, one major bummer is that they didn't uh, they didn't put in like real tandem battles. Like you'll see after qualifying, I'll just play for a little bit and then you'll see what happens. No! I'm already screwing up. No! God damn it.
Ah, oh, gotta get into grips with the, the little settings I adjusted. Sorry for screwing up a couple of times. <laughs> I hope it goes better now. Damn it. No! God damn it. Sometimes it's just so difficult. It can be real twitchy. And I'm not used to that, but other than that, it just. It drives amazing. It drifts amazing. Oh, whoa, shift up, shift up. Whoa. Okay, reasonable. What I love about this game is like the, the replays and uh, it's just I did two runs and like when you do the first run which also sucks it's just a minor a minor point the first run you do you can't see that in a replay so you automatically go to your second run and the second run is the only one you can see in the replay so that's what I'm gonna do right now. See I can hide the, the bottom beam you can even put up stuff for YouTube, which is really cool also. Ah, see, I smacked the cone right there. Uh, you can pause it with, uh, with the A button. You can use the right trigger to use the slow-mo uh, to just check it out. No. Oh no, I just hit it with my fucking splitter. Damn it. A little bit off track over there. I'm still getting used to this. I'm used to uh, D1 GP for the PlayStation 2 where it's just full on counter steering and playing with your throttle. And this game comes really close to that handling and the physics. And I like it when it's like challenging and a little bit more difficult. So I'm still getting used to all the cars. I've just been playing for like a couple of hours. I mean yesterday actually I just started it up today. But yesterday I've been just training around a little bit. Ah, lawn mower. But it's it's a real fun drifting game. It's just that there's not much meat to go around for this. Only for drifting. I mean, I'm just I just bought the game for drifting like I said and that's it. So a couple of euros too much. <laughs> Let's see. I need to do a little bit more a little bit more grip on the front so putting the front suspension a little bit more soft I see a lots of videos on, on YouTube uh, from people that um, uh, go drifting in this game and all they do is just stay in first or second gear and just completely rev it till the engine explodes which doesn't happen of course because that wouldn't be fun at all but I've been drifting uh, for a couple of well, I think a couple of years now. Been doing it a couple of years. And um, I had a lot of cars to play around with. Uh, from low powered Hachiroku to uh, more uh, bigger powered uh, S13 with RB25 DT Spec 2 engine in it. So going from non turbo to supercharged to turbo and back and forth between those two I got a Miata right now I know it's pretty gay what people say but I don't care it's a nice car and uh, it's lightweight and I really like the way uh, uh, how you can upgrade everything on it so there's a lot for it to get on the market so let's just go quarterfinals right now and let's see what happens No tandem.
That was close. Oh, oh no. See, I was leading for a little bit and then the other dude just comes up on me and I almost get ran by him. It happened a couple of times. So now this is run two. See, no replay, no tandem. Now I just gotta go like this. Whoa! Oh. I'm standing up and playing right now, which is not really helping my mood. Just screwing it up. God damn it. If you don't have the flow for it, it just it, it bites you up in your ass. No, no, no. Ah. I'll just leave it right there. Twitchy. Shift up, shift down, handbrake, counter steer, play with the throttle, shift up. Oh man. I'm really sorry for sucking right now. So again, I want to check the replay. I just love the, the flicking back and forth, how realistic it looks. Like I watch a lot of drifting on YouTube and the way uh, everything handles right now and the way it looks with the counter steering and the throttle and everything, it's really cool. I think it's really good. It's close to what I always experience on the D1 GP on the PlayStation 2. And uh, I still think that's one of the best drifting games ever. And this is getting close. I mean, I've been playing uh, Live for Speed as well on the, on the PC back in the day. And lots of other games. Forza, Need for Speed. Everything. Everything that involves drifting, I think I have played. And this is like a real fun game to just play when you have the time. Have some fun. Do some drifting. Alright, semi-finals. Here we go. Oh, and I really like that they put in the audio name Wolf. I mean, that's my thing. I call myself Like and Stripe, so yeah. open no <laughs> and I was drifting against another force rig what the fuck Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh, the funny thing is I should mention, I don't drive with the... Uh, oh, I don't drift with the, with the trigger buttons. I use A for gas. Because you really need to feather the, the throttle. Well, I don't know how to feather it because I'm pressing the A button, but I'm mashing it like back and forth. Because that's how you drift in real life. You, you, you stamp on the gas and then sometimes you don't. And um, the B button is the handbrake, X button is the normal brake, and I shift with the triggers. So let's watch that replay again. I really like to see uh, all this stuff in action. Woo! It just sucks. Ah, it just sucks that the other replay was way bad. Plus, I don't know why it starts in the halfway there. I mean, come on. Let's just go to the beginning. Here we go. Whoa! Almost backwards. Oh, yeah. Tap those with my ass. Whoops! Alright, here we go, here we go. No, not so nice. This is better. Oh, no! Wasn't that good. What's up with those windshield wipers, Chris? Come on, put them down. What up? There we go. Like I said, my lead run was better. Now I'm in finals. So here we go. Let's see if I can win this. Felipe Santos. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. See, he's already there. It's just weird. So twitchy, man. Well, stop being twitchy. Why is this happening all of a sudden? not funny anymore man sometimes jeez see no tandem second run no replay to be difficult from time to time. Alright, let's watch that replay one more time. Just for seeing how, or looking how sucky I was doing. I mean, the smoke is something the guys at Forza, the makers from Forza, 
They can learn something from this man. And and what about the, the steering lock? Jeez. The steering lock is pretty much awesome on this game. Could be could be a little bit more further out, but it looks good. I'm not as smooth as, as Chris Forsberg in real life. <laughs> I mean, it's not just the car, it's the driver as well. But still looks awesome though. Whoa, two tires off, zero. Yeah. Still win, probably have some. Oh, I didn't have some, uh, some diff things. Nice, there we go. Number one, baby. So yeah guys, uh, this is uh, turning out to be a long review, <laughs> kind of. I'll maybe, uh, maybe I'll touch up on some subjects again when I'm uh, doing another video. For now I'm just doing this, unedited. I'll just put this on YouTube in 1080p and uh, hope for the best. Either way, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, I can show you real quick the, the cars in the normal uh, section. Here you go, you got your Mazda RX-7. You got your uh, S15. Come on, show already. It's taking too long. And then you got your Nismo 350Z. So in total, you got six drift cars. And then let's see uh, if in details. You got your Brands Hatch. You got your Autosport Raceway. You got your Hockenheim Ring. It's a really small technical course, really cool. You got your Okutama. You got your Gas Marina. And that's it. You can do these uh, reversed. And uh, so technically you got one, two, three, four, five, six, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five tracks that you can do. Uh, you can do normal and reversed. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. And um, if you ever want to go online and do a little bit, a little bit of tandem drifting, I don't know if that's gonna work. My live expired, so I'll probably get some new Xbox Live going, and then I'll uh, test out the online uh, options. Thanks for watching.